what's up guys Nax Tech here and in this video I wanted to show you how you can customize your lock screen and just how much you can actually do with it so what you'll need guys is um, firstly the main thing you'll need is an app called widget locker which is a paid app I'll put the links in the description but it is a hundred percent worth the money and let me show you my current lock screen that I made with widget locker so if I turn off the screen here turn it back on you can see I've got this completely different lock screen that I had from stock you can see I've got the uh, clock widget I've got a widget here with missed calls unread messages and unread emails that is a proper widget it does work if I do get notifications I've got my slider down here and I've got another widget with the temperature the battery percentage and a bar and it's so cool right look how look how cool it can be it works really well guys you can see it unlocks no problem and basically that's all widget locker so if you go here, you can see this is how it's made. The customization on this app is ridiculous. You can do so much stuff with it. If I go into the settings, you can see, basically you'll have to enable the widget locker. And I suggest if you're gonna use it, make sure you go into the settings and go to your security and make sure you change the system one to screen lock none for it to work at its best potential. And, and then guys basically it's all freedom you can do whatever you want here you can change the buttons you can have loads of different stuff you don't have to allow the some certain buttons to work if you don't want them to um, look and feel is probably the most important you can see you can have alternative wallpaper to your stock wallpaper which is what I've done you can have a background tint if you don't want one you don't have to have one you can see you can uh, tint the different parts the different areas you, there's so much stuff you can do you could probably spend all day making different lock screens you can see you can change the layout which actually change the grid I think normally it's 4 by 4 so I've changed it to 12 by 12 which gives me a lot more control over the spacing of my widgets and yeah there's so much stuff you see I've uh, hidden the notification bar so when I lock it the uh, notification bar isn't there so it's basically a full screen effect and it works really well guys I have to say it's it's just brilliant I really love it and I'm going to put a link in the um, description that that's going to send you to a thread in XDA that basically has loads of different themes. There's one developer that keeps making them and he posts exactly how to do them, exactly what you need. You might need some different widgets and stuff like that. But I've been using some of his and they are awesome. So, yeah, guys, you can pretty much change anything you want on here, including the slider. You don't have to have this slider. If you can see, you can have custom slider here. You can hold down. You can get different themes from uh, Get Themes or Get Themes from XDA. And you can see all the different ones. You can have the normal Android default, ICS, iPhone, Jelly Bean, My UI, Moto, Rotary, Sense, Sense 3. Loads of different ones you can have and that's just how customizable this bad boy is. It's so cool You can do so much stuff with it I'm not going to say that because I like that one and the good thing about widget locker is guys You can save them and back them up and restore them to later dates. So if I show you one here I can uh, restore this other one that I made called girl if I click this you can see this replace your current configuration with one from a backup Yes and here you go, you can see how awesome it looks so far, but you can see tap to restore widget. So sometimes you will have to, uh, when you use the restore function, you'll have to tap. UCCW, by the way, is a customizable widget. It's free in the Play Store, and it is awesome. You can make so many different widgets here, but this is the one that's meant to go with this. You can see touch here to load. Once it's loaded, you can see it here. And like I said, this is a fully customizable, customizable thing, so uh, you can change pretty much everything you want you can change the height i believe it's 267 maybe i need to make it fit fully let me try that out i need okay we'll leave it at that and hopefully now it'll fill uh, the top of the screen nearly does but you can see you can basically fill it to however you want um let me exit it out the customization is ridiculous here and you can see now that is my lock screen I've got my slider up here, my battery percentage here, you can see some other widgets here, the temperature widget, the uh, weather and stuff like that, and obviously this amazing arse here. <laughs> but yeah, the unlock works just as it is. Like I said guys, there is so many different themes you can do with the lock screen, you can change them daily, you can have loads of cool different things. Seriously, check out the thread in my description because some of them look ridiculous. He changes home screens, he changes lock screens. It looks so damn impressive that you just want to keep changing yours and they look so different, so professional. And this is one of the reasons why I love Android, just because of the uh, the freedom. 
but widget locker is what you're going to need and like i said you can pretty much have anything you want you can see you hold anything and you can put any widgets you want up here so if you wanted i don't know shazam you could go ahead and have shazam you could resize it and you could have shazam on your lock screen if you wanted to so i mean if i now exit it shazam will be on my lock screen there it is boom so not that i really want it because now i've covered up the good part but that's how customizable it is guys and i hope you can make some really cool lock screens so yeah see you guys later